Okay, so after discussing the basics of how content works and how it's manipulated in InDesign, let's start actually placing some content here. So I'm going to go back to my links folder from the archive I extracted from Moodle. I'm going to open the PDF file just to have a quick look at it. And we're going to place this main image here. And if you remember in our row structure, there's just one row at the bottom for uh, for this quote here. There are four rows at the top and we'll see this image takes up the other five rows and it just goes from edge to edge. So we're gonna just click and drag it to our document here. It's this one the PSD file, which is a Photoshop file. You do not need to have Photoshop. You do not, do not need to open it. InDesign can work natively with Photoshop and Illustrator files, among others. So you can just drag and drop it here and it will, it will load just like a regular image. I'm gonna click the interface of InDesign here to focus on it. And I am going to just click from one edge to the other, click and drag, right? I'm going to zoom in here a bit just to tell you one more thing. It's very important that we are extremely accurate, that we use these guides to get a unified design. So straying like a fraction of a millimeter from these lines ends up looking very unprofessional, even if it's barely noticeable in most cases. Even untrained audiences can feel it. The advantage though is that these lines here are magnetic. So you see by default my cursor here is black, but when I get close to one of these lines it turns white. That means InDesign has detected these lines and it's gonna make the content grab onto those. So make sure that happens, make sure your cur cursor is white. And let's see, we have a row here at the bottom, then one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and one, two, three, four. Actually, this is where we want to start. So in that corner there where the row meets the margin is where I'll start. I'm just going to click and drag up until the other margin. And you see the image just dragged in at the proper width but it is a bit too tall so it should go just up to this line here you see there's an extra space here so just this line that i'm i have inside my selection there so to make it fit i'm just going to crop it never ever ever squish images to make them fit. Photos have their own proportions that represent the real life. If you squish them, if you do something like this, even just a bit, a very small bit, it is noticeable, unnatural and very, uh, I don't know, unpleasant and unesthetic. So what I'm going to do is just crop it. And to do that, I'm literally just going to select it click on it with the black arrow tool, select the box, and drag this middle square here in the lower side to the proper line. That's it. Now I cut out that lower bit, but I actually want the content to be a bit higher up. This is a bit unbalanced. So I'm going to click on the circle in the middle to select the image. You see now it's selected, and I can now move it higher as high as it goes basically so now i'm actually cutting out the top bit if you want to make sure you're dragging perfectly horizontally or vertically you can hold the shift key as you're dragging and it won't let you stray away it will keep you either horizontal or vertical right now vertical is what i'm going for so i'm just holding shift and making sure to drop it exactly on the line and now you can see this image fits exactly 
at the bottom in the corners and at the top. So this is the placement of our image.